Hey guys, welcome back to Jordan Samuel Skin Talks. I think, what are we, we're in mid-July now. And then if that's the case, then I'm in Italy and you're getting sick of all of my photos on Instagram of my products in Italy. <laughs> but I'm enjoying it, I'm sure I'm enjoying it. Anyway, uh, so today I wanted to talk about, because I touched on this in the last video, I believe, if I'm putting them up in order, but um, there's some people who I've seen write, oh, my skin was doing so well, now it's not, I'm gonna change my entire routine, or I'm gonna change, it's this, it's for sure, this product is for sure. If you've been on that routine for a while and your skin was doing well, Look elsewhere first, don't go right to the routine. Um, I think sometimes it's so easy for us to separate the fact that like our skin is an organ and it does, it is working hand in hand with the rest of the body. So how's the stress going? How's the sleep going? How's the diet going? How's the environmental, like is the weather changing? Do you have allergies? Do you have, the list can go on and on. I know I I've talked about this in general before, but it's important to check in there because you don't want to spend money and time and energy and effort to you know change up your product and then all of a sudden you have this vicious cycle of you're changing products because you think your skin was reacting to something when in fact it might have been reacting to something else and then you're trying to change it and da da da. So this is where if you are somebody where your skin can go haywire from time to time, um, I know a lot of you guys do it by uh, taking photos uh, for Instagram and putting them on Instagram, which is great because then you can at least see your skincare routine. So if it's something that's changing drastically, you'll be able to see it through Instagram. But a journal, like even just thinking like, oh my God, I was really stressed, you know, three days ago and all of a sudden I have a breakout, something to look into. Uh, Starting maybe eating not so well, drinking less water, drinking, you know, more sugary beverages, um, tune into that. But, and it can be a little, um, time consuming and annoying to have that journal, but it will really help in the long run if, again, you are somebody, not everybody has to do this, but if you're somebody who has those concerns and those issues, you can look back and sort of see like, oh, really stressful day. Um, and it, it's gonna give you a bigger uh, piece to your puzzle in terms of your skincare. And you might be able to say like, for me now, I know for sure what works for me in my routine and what doesn't, and then, uh, if I'm having a skin reaction, it's usually diet or stress, mostly stress. Uh, but it's it's really, really important to do that if you can. Um, there's no, to me, there's no good reason to either get rid of product, shelf product, when a routine has been working with you. And I'm, I'm not talking like, you know, this routine was working for one week or you had this consistent, this plan, but if it's been something that's been, you know, consistent for a month, two months, three months, and then your skin went haywire, chances are it's not the product and it could be season change allergies, environmental, sleep, stress, diet. Um, but it's crucial to look at all those things. And remember, I think it's so easy for us to separate. Like I talked about earlier this month with the lemon water. It's an organ. It is an organ. It is attached to our body. Yes, it's a barrier. Yes, it's a protector. We ask a lot of it. Uh, but we do have to take care of it. We have to take care of it internally. We do have to stay hydrated. It might not be hydrating the skin, but we have to stay hydrated to help our skin do more, be better. Um, we have to use a good skincare routine. We have to protect it from the sun, but we also have to keep stress down. We have to keep inflammation down. Um, sort of, you know, stress, that silent killer. Uh, it reduces, it reduces, it raises insulin. I wish it reduced insulin. Um, but raising insulin and cortisol and all that stuff in the body, um, creates a thicker, stickier sebum too with oral content, which then as that's coming through the pores, it's gonna hold onto those dead cells, creating congestion, clogged pores. So keeping stress down is also gonna help breakouts um, and also like, you know, help your heart and things like that. And uh, I need to do that too. So I mean, I'm telling myself this, I'm not like, you have to do this because I have to do this too. But it's super, super important to reduce stress. Um, and I mean, that's separate, but I'm getting off on a tangent now. We got to get back to don't go chasing waterfalls. Uh, don't go changing your whole skincare routine. Uh, if there's a little, like a little teeny hiccup. And I see that a lot. And so I wanted to address it because I, that again is just, you're going to go into a vicious cycle. If you change your skincare routine based on one little hiccup, ride it out. And yes, it might be a product, but you, 
you're gonna need to ride it out and sort of see. But the sort of knee-jerk reaction to immediately kick a product to the curb or immediately do something, and that's why it's, you should be adding one product at a time. So if you add two products at a time, people are always like, my gut's telling me it's this, but you actually don't know what it's telling you. And um, you know, looking at studies of things that are done in a dark room in a Petri dish that's not on your skin, you get the point, it's, it's, it's quite complicated. But if something's working for you and then there's a tiny hiccup, there's no need to like reinvent the wheel. Just check in, diet, stress, exercise, make sure everything's sort of, sort of good. Um, and if it is, then keep an eye and maybe it is your skincare routine, but chances are it's probably not. And uh, like many things. But I just wanted to throw that little tidbit out there, little July video, probably shorter than most, but just some info. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful summer. I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hi everyone, thanks for watching. You can subscribe by clicking the black JS circle down below so we can stay in contact and keep talking. To watch more videos, you can click on the link here or possibly here. Thanks for watching. Bye.